Hey, I'm John Griffith, and I'm at work, and we were weed eating, and we had to move this little snake out of the way. So this is a garter snake. You can tell it's a garter snake. You can tell it's a garter snake because it's got a yellow stripe down its back. It's called a vertebral stripe. They look scary, but if they bite you, you can't even break your skin. Okay, if you're not sure what kind of snake it is, don't pick it up. But the reason why most people are afraid of snakes is because in our culture, we got some scary stories about snakes. And, they, and, it, and people have been killing snakes because of those scary stories. But also, snakes don't really have eyelids, so they're always like, so just imagine if like your neighbor always was like this. Every time you went outside, you'd be afraid of them too. That's why I think snakes get a bad rap is because they don't have any eyelids and because in the culture and stuff. But they're really cool guys, you know. They um, this is a semi-aquatic garter snake, so he eats fish, frogs, insects, and he's just doing his good little thing. His defense mechanism is to wipe nasty white stinky poo poo on you. So you might not want to pick him up. He's not doing that to me because I think that we already like we're, like we have a relationship somehow. He's just not afraid of me. But um. If he bit me, it wouldn't hurt. The poop doesn't stink that bad. I mean, it's nasty. I wouldn't eat a sandwich right after I had that poop in my hand. I'd wash my hands first. But this snake is just so cool. And so I encourage these guys to come into my yard. And once they're in my yard, I consider my pets. Or if they're on public lands, I consider my pets. And I take good care of my pets, so I want to protect their habitat, make sure they have clean water and cover and food source, which means taking care of the amphibians and the fish too. I don't bring them inside my house because I don't like the idea of having caged reptiles. They should be out there breeding, okay? We have this really cool snake called a river boa in um, California, but you hardly find them now because they're so cool, everybody took them home, put them in their house. So please don't do that. If you see a rubber boa or a garter snake, say, wow, what a cool snake, and just watch it for a little while, and then know that it lives there and you can come back and visit it. Don't take it in your house. And if you have an exotic pet, excuse me, if you have an exotic pet from another part of the world, don't let it go here. It's not from here. It could have disaster effect, uh, da disastrous effects. Okay, it could be like the python in Florida or the bullfrog in California that's eating our baby turtles. A bullfrog eating baby turtles, okay? So let's just respect these little guys. They are our pets because we are the stewards of the earth. We're the guardians, we're the taxpayers of our, of our public trust, nature, and parks. So let's just make sure they have good habitat. We treat them with respect. Let them go on their bug-eating ways. So bye-bye, little snake. Here's a little kiss. Oh, you gave me a kiss.